You, the voter, will decide whether Texas House District 34 in Nueces County will have a new face in January. Yeah, Republican Carolyn Vaughn is going up against Democratic incumbent Abel Herrero, who has held the seat in the legislature for eight terms. Now, I spoke with both of the candidates, so you can get to know the person you're potentially voting for, right? What they stand for and how they plan to make improvements for the communities they hope to serve next year. Two different backgrounds with humble beginnings. I uh, quit school when I was in the 10th grade, got my GED. I had to take care of my brother who had muscular dystrophy. Born and raised in our community uh, in Robstown, my mom raised my brother and I as a single parent. She worked two jobs, uh, one of which was working as an elevator operator in, in one of the buildings where I opened up my law office. Their not so black and white past led them to their careers. Abel Herrero has been practicing law for about 25 years. Carolyn Vaughn is currently retired, but she had her own oil and gas company. She started with her husband in the 80s. Both are now living a life surrounded with family. My wife and I have been married for 30 years practically. And uh, we have five children, uh, one of which has already graduated from college and working uh, her job. And the other four are uh, still in public schools. I have three children, eight grandchildren, one great granddaughter and another one on the way. Herrero and Vaughn each have history in politics. Herrero previously served in the Texas House of Representatives from 2005 to 2011. He assumed office again in 2013 and has been representing District 34 ever since. I love serving. Uh, as a public servant, I've been able to help individuals and we've been able to help uh, domestic violence survivors, for example, escape from their abusers. We've been able to help uh, veterans who've come home from foreign wars. In 2014, Vaughn was elected to the Corpus Christi City Council. Four years later, she became a member of the Nueces County Commissioner's Court. For her next political endeavor, she hopes to take Herrero's seat at the legislature. I want it because I want to make a difference, and I want someone representing our district that has our values. Texas House District 34 has a population of more than 170,000 people, according to 2021 census data. I asked both candidates what they hope to improve for the people if elected. Vaughn and Herrero have their eye on making changes to better the education system. They said teachers need higher salaries and schools need more funding. But the question is, how are you going to, to aid in the fight to get that funding? Well, fortunately, we're, you know, the, the oil and gas business is starting to pick up again. And so the state reaps a lot of benefits from that. Another proposition that I would have been strongly in support of is to allow for for gaming in our communities. You know, we've talked about casinos coming to, to Texas. Safety in schools is also a priority for the candidates, and Vaughn says the state should invest more in school security. The inner schools are different. They have more money than the rural areas do, but they should help all of them. Now, I spoke with the candidates about their stance on a lot of other issues, including abortion and inflation. So you can read their responses if you go to our website, ChrisTV.com. Oh, 